Hi guys, Young here from Lida, and today we're going to have a look at Ubiquiti's Unify Switch Flex. The Unify Switch Flex is a 5 port gigabit managed switch. It's powered up using PoE or a PoE injector on port 1, and it can provide 802.3 AF PoE on ports 2 through 5. The USW Flex consumes only 5 watts and it can provide a PoE budget of up to 46 watts depending on what's being used to power the device. It's certified IP55 weatherproof and it has a wide operating temperature and humidity range. The USW Flex can be powered up using a standard PoE switch or a PoE injector. However, depending on the type of PoE that's used to power up the device, will impact the PoE budget that's available. If the device is powered up using 802.3 AF, there'll be 8 watts available. If you're using AT, it'll provide up to 20 watts. If you use BT PoE or a 50 volt 60 watt PoE injector, which is not included with the USW Flex, you'll get the full PoE budget of 46 watts. Next, let's have a look inside the box and get this one powered up and see what it can do. Okay, so inside the box we have our USW Flex. It has a detachable bottom cover, which hides and gives some weather protection to our ports. The front part of this cover is also removable for access without removing the entire shroud. We have our quick start guide as well as our bracket for mounting to a conduit. All right, that is interchangeable with the cover that's on the back. We also have our screws and some cable ties for mounting. Let's get this one plugged into PoE and get it adopted to a controller. Today I'm going to power up my USW Flex using a 60 watt PoE injector so that I have the full PoE budget available. So now that my USW Flex is plugged into power, I should be able to see it from my controller, which is plugged into that same network. Here we go, it's ready to go. I'm going to update the firmware first. While that firmware finishes updating, I'm going to plug in a access point. Now that our USW Flex has finished updating the firmware, let's get this one adopted into my controller. Yeah. Alright, now it's provisioning. And now it's provisioned. Now that my switch is adopted, let's jump into the config. I'm going to give it a meaningful name. I'm going to call it USW Flex. And you'll see here that I can tell the controller how I'm powering the device, so it's aware of the PoE budget I'm restricted to. In this case, I've got the PoE injector going. If we have a look through the rest of our tabs, we'll find that the config is pretty much the same as what we'd expect on any other switch. We've got our uh, management VLAN, our SNMP settings, we can set it with a static address if we would like for management. And if we jump over to our switch ports page, as you can see, just like any other Unify switch, we can manage each port individually. Each port we can do our own tagging, untagging, and we can control um, the POE on a per port basis. Right. So just the same as any of our Unify managed switches. Lastly, if I jump down to my insights and we go to our PoE stats for our switch, 
that the access point I connected is drawing about 4 watts at the moment, leaving me with plenty of budget to add additional devices on my remaining 3 ports. And that concludes our look at the Unify Switch Flex. If you'd like to know more, please get in touch with your Leader Account Manager. That concludes our look at the Unify Switch Flex. If you'd like to know more, please get in touch with your Leader Account Manager.